Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE pay-per-view predictions video. And of course, I am not alone, because I'm never alone anymore for predictions videos. So, we are joined by Captain D2, Dylan and Flame. Um, I said it that order, but it's that's just the order they are in Discord, so that's the order we will most likely go through the predictions. And then I'll give my prediction at the end. You guys know how it works. Let me know all your your predictions by letting me know in the comments down below. Drop a like if you agree. Dislike if you disagree. Um, if you what? Well, you, if you disagree on one match, just drop it a like, anyways. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So let's start off with um, because I always I always do these videos, and then the day later, WWE announced that there's another match for the card. And uh, so I think it's going to be either Elias versus Titus O'Neil or a six-man tag. Elias, um, the Good Brothers, and Titus O'Neil with Jason Jordan and Apollo Crews. So if either the yeah faces or heels basically here, because it might be a one-on-one, -on -one, it might be a six-man match, it might not happen at all. Let's start with you, Captain. Um, whatever team Elias is on. All right, heels. Um, D2. Heels. Dylan. Um, heels. Flame? What, is it some random tag team, Matt? Did you, did, yeah, I mean, it might not even be part of the show, but, it, you know, they always add that little match, so it might be Elias Titus or the six-man match, and it is it would be quite random. Well, not really, because they had that segment on Raw, making fun of Jason Jordan. So, heels or face? Oh. If it's on the card, then Elias. Everything on this. Yeah. All right, heels then. Um... Yeah, same guys. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, Elias. Elias against Apollo uh, has just been winning every time. Elias is great. I don't see why they would uh, they would make that lose, especially with uh, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. They're just great. So Elias and Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, or just Elias if it's a uh, solo match. Let's move on to matches we're actually sure they're going to happen now, and that is a match no one cares about, uh, and that is the Sasha Banks Alicia Fox match. <laughs> um, yeah, that's happening. <laughs> Captain, who have you got and why? No, 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 wait, scrap that. Who have you got? No one cares why. Not because of you, but no one cares why. This match is so relevant. The match is useless, and I'm predicting Sasha. Alright, D2? I'm gonna go with Alicia. Damn, okay, Dylan? Sasha. Flame? I'm going Alicia. Sasha's just too predictable and boring. I'm going Alicia. It is hella predictable to go Sasha, but I'm going Sasha because, you know, they, they do predictable sometimes. Moving on to the next, um, I think this is also going to be a kickoff, and that is Cedric Alexander and Rich Swan versus Jack Gallagher and Brian Kendrick. Captain, who have you got and why? I just really like Gallagher right now, so I'm going with him and Brian Kendrick. Yeah, I. Okay, who are you going with, D2? Uh, Cedric and Swan. Cedric and Swan, alright. Uh, Dylan? Uh, Gallagher and Brian Kendrick, because they're two, they're doing really good as heels. Mm -hmm. Flame? Cedric and Swan, because I can see Cedric being in line for a cruiserweight title match soon. Hmm, alright, alright. So, um, I, just to add, I love, I love Gallagher. I think he's an absolute great heel now. Um, and a lo lovely pairing. That said, I'm gonna go with Alexander and, uh, and Rich Swan because, yeah, I think, uh, I think they kinda wanna, I don't know, maybe push Alexander and faces on a kickoff. You know, they, uh, I think they'll get the win for that. Next, we move on to the Cruiserweight Championship match. Kalisto versus Enzo Amore. Flame, who have you got and why? If you could give a bit Enzo of insight. Enzo Amore, he's winning the title back, especially with this new little faction. And, and I don't think he should have lost the title to begin with. Enzo. Dylan? The same thing. All right. D2? Enzo. Captain? Enzo. He and have, he should have had the title for a long time. Exactly what everyone said, uh, and so shouldn't have lost the title to Kalisto just because why not? That's that's WWE's thinking. It's really annoying. Um, he should have kept it. He's doing great for the cruise weights, but I do want to see Neville. Uh, I miss Neville, so hashtag bring back Neville for the cruise weights. But I am going to go with Enzo Amore to win it back against Kalisto. Um, let's let's keep. No, actually, we'll do this match now. 
um, because it's a hella predictable match, and that is Oscar versus Emma. Captain, it's why are you going with Oscar? Because it's fucking Oscar. <clears throat> Hashtag demonetized. Thank you very much. D2. Emma. Of course, you would. Uh, he would. He, no, he, he would, wouldn't he? He's the only one who would. He's the only one who would. What? Dylan, who have you got, man? I don't know. No one cares. Okay, yeah. Flame. Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so real quick, guys. Um, what, how long? How long is this match gonna be? Two minutes. Is it? Is it literally gonna be? Asuka's gonna come in, gonna kick Emma's head off, and one, two, three. Or yeah. is it? Are they just gonna be stupid oh, with it and have a competitive ten-minute match? Which I, as much as I love Emma, would not be what is best to do uh, on her debut. Asuka's gonna die. I mean, Asuka's gonna sit in two minutes. It's Oscar's first match, so it's genuinely probably just going to be a squash. Yeah, yeah. It should be, at least. It should be. Five, we, like a five I mean, squash give Emma a chance, but... Running away. Mm. Yeah, I definitely think they'll do a spot where she kind of runs away, gets intimidated. But we all going Asuka, except D2, because he doesn't really know what he's talking about. He doesn't really watch D2. WWE. Doesn't really know what's going on, so he kind of just guesses most of the time. But he said Emma. You, you know what? It might happen. It won't. Um, let's move on to Pumpkin versus Sister Abigail. Captain, who have you got, and what do you think of Pumpkin versus Sister Abigail? This match has this feud has been going on for so long, and they've made it even worse. But I have to say Finn Balor because of how stupid Sister Abigail. Again, going. But how stupid is Pumpkin, dude? Like, I mean, come on. Come on. It's stupid, but it's... I mean, it's insane. it's ridiculous. No, it is that. It's ridiculous. But, okay. Um, D2, who have you got? Uh, Sister Abigail. Okay. Um, Dylan? No, the demon. A.K.A. Pumpkin. Uh, Flame? Tranny Wyatt. He needs his win on pay-per-view. And he's two... He's lost two in a row. Yep. On yep. So. Yep, exactly. I agree with Flame completely, guys. Bray Wyatt... A.K. Sister Abigail, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt. I will go with Bray Wyatt on that one. Well, I just think he doesn't lose. Well, I'm going with I'm going with uh, Sister Abigail anyways. I think well, you know, I think he's lost twice in a row now against against Finn okay. Balor. What's it's the point the of making Dylan? It's the demon. <laughs> he doesn't lose. The, the demon no. Way. I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt and uh, and Sister Abigail. Yeah, I think. Uh, I, th I think shenanigans will happen, and uh, and Bray Wyatt will have has something up his sleeve. Maybe there's a Sister Abigail debut. <laughs> I don't know, Bray Wyatt. Um, okay, a match I'm really looking forward to. Didn't think I would when they started their feud off, but Mickey James has been taken really seriously. She's been looking absolutely great on the mic and in the ring, and genuinely looking forward to this match. Captain, who do you have and why? Um. This is kind of hard to predict. It's just they've been treating Mickey a lot different than everyone thought they mm, would. Mm. But I see Alexa staying champ for the entire reason this feud exists. Yeah. That being Mickey's age. Dylan? Have you got... Uh, I, I think Mickey's going to win. Even though I want Alexa to win, I feel like they're going to give Mickey the title for one more time. Right. To make it seven. All right, all right. D two, who have you got? Mickey. Okay, Flame. Alexa's winning because Ask is going to be the person that defeats Alexa for the title. And once again, I agree completely. Um, yeah, Alexa's winning this. Mickey James has been built up really good for the past month, but it's just so it, Alexa can get the win. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it wouldn't make much sense putting it on Mickey James, I don't think, uh, unless unless they do want to do the rematch from NXT Asuka versus Mickey James. It could happen. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past WWE at all. But uh, I th I don't know. I think I think they're going to keep it on Alexa. I really think they're going to keep it on Alexa. I'm going to go yeah go, going Alexa with that one. Do you have something to add, Flame? Yeah. Plus, like obviously they're building Mickey James up. They've been building Emma up recently. 
And part of the reason why they're building up Mickey James and people like that now is because they need more credible women for Oscar to face because at the minute, yeah. it would just be Sasha, Bailey, Alexa. So they're building up the women's division on Raw. I would argue that uh, Sasha and Bailey, you know, haven't done much, have they, recently? But That's all it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we really need a, uh, um, a Sasha Banks heel turn. I don't know what they're doing with Sasha Banks and Bailey. I don't know what they're doing with them. But anyway, that's a side. Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James. I'm going Alexa, and uh, quite a lot of you went Mickey James, surprisingly, but uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an interesting match. And then we have the main event for TLC, guys. Nothing on the line, um, no Brock Lesnar. You know, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's definitely strange, but uh, it's a match nonetheless, and that is The Shield uh, against Miz, The Bar, Braun Strowman, and Kane. Um, wow, a five on three. Handicapped TLC main event for bragging rights. So um, this is this is I think this is probably the hardest match on the card to predict. Even though I think I think I know where everyone's going to go with this because yeah, well we'll see. Uh, we'll start off with uh, we'll start off with D two. Who have you got, man? Uh, Shield. Dylan. The Shield. It's just their debut match. Captain? Who have you got, man? I don't think they're doing, they're doing five on three, but it's going to be a spot fest. But I think Shield are going to win because it's their return match. Yeah. Flame? <clears throat> Flame? Shield. Shield, all right. Nothing else to add? Um, I just hope Miz doesn't eat the pinfall. Yeah, there you go. yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, okay, so I do actually have quite a bit to say about this match, but I'll try not to go on for too long. But what I think is going to happen, guys, I'm going to go there straight. I'm going to straight away give you guys my prediction. I think the Shield's going to win. But it's because, it, yeah, it's their debut. They, they, you know, it's their first match back as a faction. There would be no point building them up to reunite to lose. Um, that said, it is against five of... Kane may be aside because he hasn't been very relevant recently, but, you know, Miz, Intercontinental Champion, Braun Strowman, Beast, has been built as a beast for, well, a monster, sorry, for, like, like six months to, to, like, almost a year. He's just been great. As I said, Miz is your Intercontinental Champion in the bar, former tag team champs, Cesaro and Sheamus as well, both wrestled. It's five on three, so what I think is going to happen is maybe two of these wrestlers are going to get taken out or either Miz will irritate like two of the wrestlers and will just leave the match because if it does stay five on three I just it, it wouldn't make sense how the shield would win that especially with Braun Strowman and Kane on your team but anyway I'm going with the shield has anyone got anything to add about uh, something I said there I do yes yeah I definitely I, a spot happening where you know some of them like something will happen to like maybe one or two members of the team for it to to even out. I think out. what's going to happen is Kane is, this is going to be like a one-time return thing. Uh. And that really doesn't matter if he eats the pinfall. Yeah, yeah. But I think Braun's going to get pissed at Miz and leave. Uh. And then it'll basically be a three-on-four with Kane injured or something. The thing is, though, like, Strowman, like... I don't think it would be him who leaves because it would for me. I would be really annoyed as a fan because that wouldn't make sense. He's a monster. He, he even if he's angry with Miz, he he still wants to beat up the Shield because they power bombed power bombed him through a table. Um, I think if anyone leaves, it would be the Bar. I think I think you get you you can get rid of two just both of them like that. You just get rid of. I I I'd love to have them in the match, but it makes it more of a. Yeah, like a three on three. That way the shield would uh, would have a chance of winning. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Drop it a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And definitely let me know what you guys think about the, these matches. It's one of the poorest match cards I've seen in a long, long time for for a pay-per-view. It's following Hell in the Cell. It's a two-match show. Yeah. Oscar's debut, shield. I mean, I am looking forward to Alexa, Mickey James. But this, I mean, yeah, there's exactly just... Right. It's just, I don't know. Apart from the main event, we've got one match, which is like one other match, and that is like, 
it, it, I don't know, it's crazy. And that's like Balor versus uh, Bray. Um, it's, uh, it's and that's a, barely Bray. That's yeah, probably, it's, 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 it's honestly Bray. crazy card. Crazy bad card, I want to say. Hopefully it surprises me and we enjoy it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Peace out.